Hi, and welcome to Cars and Coffee Stories. We are today in San Clemente, California. I'm next to Jim and John. Nielsen. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. And uh, before we start, have a look at this car. What a beauty. So Jim, tell us more about the car. Well, it's a 55 Mercedes 300 SL. They made a total of about 400 of them. 1,400 of them between 54 and 57. And then they started uh, making them a little more road-going cars, roadsters with conventional doors. This one's been in the family since about 1965. It was owned by Joan's father, who vintage raced it for about 15 years until probably the mid-90s. And then uh, he took it off the track and uh, passed away seven or eight years ago. And we've been uh, enjoying it ever since. Is this your daily driver? <laughs> no, not hardly. We, we do put a couple thousand miles a year on it. We take it to Monterey for the uh, car weekend in August every year and we get a lot of use out of it. The car was originally uh, charcoal, uh, always had a red interior. Uh, it, it was repainted black probably 30 some years ago and has held up well obviously. What's so special for you about this car? Just that it's so unique. You know, we grew up around them. They were normal cars to us, but a lot of people have never seen one of these. So many of them are in museums and uh, not out being driven, so. And I think my dad would be very happy that we continued loving the car and using the car, so. It's a great highway car. It's not that fun around town because it's big heavy steering, but once you get on the road and the engine was designed to kind of come into its sweet spot at about 4,000 RPM. So open roads, uh, you know, not real tight turns, but uh, it, it's, it's all enjoyable considering how old the car is. So that would be my next question. How does it feel to drive? It's good. It, it's, you know, I've also got a 57 Corvette that I updated with modern suspension, so it's certainly not up to that standard, but it's got an independent suspension and, you know, great brakes once they're heated up. The cars were all originally designed to be race cars, and uh, Max Hoffman uh, talked the Mercedes factory into building road cars. He said, I'll sell every one you can make, so... You know, like the entire trunk is taken up with a spare tire. It's got a 32-gallon gas tank, so it, it was never designed as a road car, but it, it's an absolute dream on the highway. So over the years, how difficult is it to maintain? I mean, you, you want to keep the original parts, you want to keep the, the, the paint and everything. How difficult is it? It's not that bad. Luckily, we have a great mechanic up in Costa Mesa, Steve Marks, who's been working on Go Wings since they were born. But the, the factory has a great uh, parts program. You can still go to the Classic Center in Irvine and buy virtually anything for this car right off the shelf. So that, that's certainly to Mercedes credit. Do you still have a smile on your face when you see the car? Every time I see the car, yes, every time. Think of dad. Yes, yeah. think of my dad. Think of how I, I used to be taken to school in this car. Yes, and back in those days you had to wear dresses, so it was challenging <laughs> in front of the whole school to get out of this car that everybody's looking at. Not, even not back the then. easiest car to get out of, as no. you might expect. <laughs> well, that's good for the driver. Not, you know, but, you know. Do you listen to music in this car? Nope. 
the music is, the music is all the mechanical sounds of the uh, the tappets and the gears whining no it, it had a radio original originally and we took it out we appreciate you guys coming out and it's a joy to bring these out and you know let let the public enjoy them everybody seems to appreciate it a lot Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Nice talking to you.